Hey at C, this is Pay at Four. I'm at the Crystal Coast Civic Center in Moorhead City for the 10th annual Gingerbread Festival and competition. There's something sweet here for everyone just inside. I keep getting a whiff of all this sweet aroma, so let's go check it out. Oh, that is so pretty. It's like a gingerbread glass house. Oh my goodness. I know. That's it's creative. A lot of work. Very creative. Children is six to eight. Oh. And I have nine entries for the children. That is so sweet. Yeah. yeah. Actually, all of these all the way around are children. Oh. Wow, yes. these did a fantastic job. I know. Beautiful. And so we're now into the teen department, and they are um, between 13 and 17 years old. Oh, wow. So they. It's food service technology, so I okay. think you sign up to learn about food service, mm -hmm. and they entered, they got it as a team, they entered that. So Kay, it's looking like a tough competition. We're seeing some fabulous and beautiful gingerbread creations here at the 10th Annual Gingerbread Festival and Competition. So let me ask you, what are the categories and rules of the competition? So this year we have five different categories, adult, teen, youth, child, and pint size. Oh wow, pint size? Pint size. That's for like the preschoolers. A lot of the schools will do that with their teams, oh, their classes, okay. and they put it together and they enter. Oh, that's adorable. That is so sweet. How will the entries be judged? So we, so everybody gets these guidelines, and so they have to follow the guidelines. Okay. And so if they follow the guidelines, they'll get good points. The judges, we have three professionals come in to judge. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Okay. And they, got, they judge based on the guidelines to make sure they did things that they were supposed to do. Okay. And if they didn't do things, then they don't get as many points. How does the Gingerbread Festival and Competition pay it for it to CQ Crystal Coast Hospice House? So the gen these entries back here, we don't even charge for these people to come and bring their entries, but it draws people in because people want to see these entries. Oh. And so then we have um, donation boxes. So people see these, and then they see everything else, and then they go to the concession stand, or they buy some things, and so we raise money because of that, because of the draw this does for our community. And so they come in, and then they, they just enjoy it, so they donate money. The adult category, the grand prize is $750. What, $750? Yeah. And then- I need to enter. I know. Congratulations. So I think for- all right, well, gingerbread competition winners have just been announced right behind me. Let's head on over to see who the winner is. $750. What do you plan on doing with the money? I'm going to treat my family to a very nice Christmas. I know, that's right. So you started with a fascination with old churches. I did. Yes, I did. And that's how we got this beautiful creation. That's, that was how it started. You put your passion into it. I did. I can tell. Very much. Um, the uh, trees are royal frosting. And there's gum paste. What are the birds made out of? Those are gum paste. So the birds, the animals are all gum paste. There's a product called ginger clay. So it's ground gingerbread mixed okay. with a hardener that you can actually mold and cut from. Wow, so. so amazing. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. It's exciting. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy all this sweetness at the 10th Annual Gingerbread Festival and Competition in Moorhead City. And be sure to come back every week to see more good deeds on Hello ENC.